Smith and then TKO. Yeah, TKO is good fun. <laughs> If he does good questions, ask him in chat. I'll relate to ones, obviously. Oh, God. Uh... <laughs> Whatever. Just hang out, then. I'm not gonna complain. Just hanging. It's nice to actually have a relaxing stream without, like, everyone fucking shitting all over the floor with IO memes for once. Uh... Oh, we've actually had our first question. Uh... I don't know how to pronounce that guy's name, but uh, he says, "Why does uh, Anki uh, why does the Anki have a uh, rhino skin?" Uh, sh dude, I don't think her new Anki. Hold on a second. I'd imagine he's probably referring to more the the model rather than the skin. Yeah, well, I mean, like it depends because it's got. We have the, the new one. Basically, he's like what rhino skin armadillo, and then like actual real chunks of armor. Like, he actually has it embedded in the body now, so... I don't know. Cosmetic choice. Any aspect of the map upcoming that you're looking for to installing? Well... Actually, there was a really fun process of figuring out um, building layouts and then getting them into blueprints so we could just start dropping prefabs down and then going, okay, this is how we want the base to look, and then uh, giving it to Gabriel and then Gabriel going and replacing the um, block meshes on the... Uh, on the map where the the human base is located with like the actual layout so if it's on the side of a cliff like he'll do some manual work and make a block out for it as opposed to us using like uh you know the same the same the same stuff over and over and over and over which is nice it gives a few areas like these nice kind of like bespoke kind of uh shapes but if we ever reuse them Eh, it wouldn't be the worst in the world, it'd just be kind of apparent. You'd be like, ah, yeah, I know this base shape. We could change the buildings in it, but... The fact that uh, someone actually... I'm glad someone asked that. The, how much freedom are you giving the art team over dino colors? Do you handpick some of the palettes yourself? Uh, I've picked zero of the palettes myself thus far. I have let the art team have full control over the skin. They just know the rules to follow. No neons. And as long as it doesn't look uh, absurd. So, you know. Fred and Tap have done really well. I've had no need to look over their shoulder. I've made, uh... Not, uh... Not palette changes, but I've made, like, actual skin changes based off of the palette stuff that they were doing, so... Do you miss update to Spiro's layout? <sighs> you know... Oh, Punch, it's so difficult to answer that one. Let me ask you a sincere question, Prototype. How, um... How much do you track the community and uh, the Isles' development? Very closely. Okay, so then you'll know that our community is infamous for- or, Wait, hold on a second. It's amazing. Anyway. It's like, um, little poops and stuff. Our, our community is infamous for pretending that they know things on a game of which they're not involved with the development of. So then they start arguing over about the, or I'm sorry, start arguing about the uh, viability or lack thereof of animals that aren't released and consequently upset themselves over it and then start arguments routinely on the Steam discussions and Discord and Reddit. So you'll have to forgive me if I'm not super worried about everyone freaking out and going, 
Oh, well, the concept and the model doesn't line up. It's not here yet. So, relax. Yes, I know they don't line up. Calm down. The community routinely will just upset itself over things, and then once they get it, they're like, oh, okay. Like, just completely ignoring the fact that they've just been busy, like, just terrorizing uh, everyone around them, including other members of the community acting like children. So, I mean... What do you want from me? Tap made good art. She made good concepts. These are these are great representations of what we want to do with the Spinosaurus. So we're gonna go do that now. The community's biggest pet peeve is that the model and the concept art doesn't line up. Okay, and relax. The whole the whole we're gonna make ourselves mad over things that aren't even out yet is tired and it's a trope that I'm not interested in entertaining anymore. Honestly, here's the thing. Horsetail, no one can take that clip and go, Dondi doesn't care about the community's opinion. Like, even as a joke even as a meme, like, it, it doesn't work anymore. The game's had too much work put into it for free over the years. Like, between the dinosaurs, the species, the abilities, the graphic overhauls, no one can complain. No one can even remotely dare suggest that I don't care. Well, there's also the fact that a lot, of, what a lot it, of people don't look, know nowadays. It can, it can happen. But it doesn't matter. Oh, I know. People, but... people still say the Earth is flat. It's gonna happen. It doesn't matter. A nice little thing, though, to know is, and not many people know this nowadays because I'm actually I'm not sure how many people uh, have been around oh, since like the very God, beginning. God, what story when the game... are you about to tell? <laughs> when the game, the original uh, conception of the game was what three carnival species and two human factions. No. There were gonna be there were gonna be no No, no before oh, that, no. That. Nope, it oh. was it was even less, dude. It was so much less. No, it wasn't even three carnivores. Originally it was just people. It, oh, because I remember it, it was like the Mega Raptor and the Yeah, yeah, it was the it was the Mega it was the Mega Raptor, the Dinonychus, and the T Rex. But before that, there was oh. just none. There was none. It was only AI. And you can only play as people. No, Rabbit, honestly, with this with what we can do now in the game, um I I wouldn't consider the like original original idea of the aisle to be what I would consider like Isle Prime, I guess is what I would call it. Uh, I've had the discussion internally, you know, where I was like, eventually I'll have a community server that's going to be like uh, my take on some of the rule set. Or it's like, this is how I wanted the game to play when I was going to do it. So this is how me and my friends were going to uh, play when we had it uh, in our minds. So this will be the server I play on with, with my little rules here, and I'll call it weird, you know. Brutality of the gore system? I can't tell you until it's like... Until a few of the dream things are confirmed or denied to me, because they're in limbo. Like, I want meshes to deform, and I want dismemberment. And obviously I've... Uh, what... You know what? I don't. I don't want to say too much about gore because there's a certain amount that Kissin has uh, has taken to that she really enjoys. No. Um. I want to see if there's a few a few takes that she has that she can pull off with uh, Felipe and the rest of the gang. I would say it has the potential to be up there. I I doubt. The problem with a gore system is that 
even if our gore on an artistic level was 10 out of 10, like if I had intestines and, and, and lungs and kidneys and all these other organs and flesh and all these giblets, you know, um, even having all the art in the world doesn't matter if it doesn't feel impactful, you know, like think, think Gears of War. I could probably fit a real dev QA in on Monday. And if I can get this, uh, well, Punch, you know what I'm working on. If I can get that done, um, I could probably get a preview available and actually do some fun stuff while. Uh, I'll I'll I, will, I will type, I will type, the, I, I will, I will, I will type this. I was going to say, it'd probably be, be best, considering it'd be easier to organize at a more reasonable hour, because it's like 7 a.m. here. Yeah. When it's raining over there, where the cool shoes meets the hot air.